Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here again. Sorry, it's my cat's toy. Today I'm bringing you a review of Bill Pearl's Keys to the Inner Universe. Now this particular book um, was written in 1978 and that's eight years after he retired because he competed in his last Mr. Universe in 1971. Um, God, I mean, the size of this book, though, man, it's like a thesis. It's over 600 pages long. Yeah, as you can see on the book number there, 611, it says. Actually, this particular volume, I'm fortunate enough to have it signed with Best Wishes by uh, Bill Pearl. So, actually, no. My mistake, 1978, uh, 1979, yeah, so eight years after his uh, retirement. And it starts off with uh, a list of the titles that he won. He won uh, several titles as a, as a youngster in the sport in, the, in 53, a couple in 56, and then he won, a, a, and, and basically from 53 up to 71 he, he won a string of NABBA universes uh, five in total um, after that we have his autobiography and throughout the book there's advice as well as um, benefits of uh, weight training there is also information on on nutrition, I believe. That's right, nutrition and virility. Uh, and then he starts off, oh sorry, there's also of course um, a warning about the use of anabolic steroids. And then he talks about some training programs. Uh, whether you've got limited time, or you're an intermediate, or whether you're a beginner or advanced. And after that, uh, he actually, it's pretty cool, he's got a tribute to Sandow because Bill Pearl actually used to do exhibitions and shows, strongman shows, where he would dress up as a strongman. And um, although he actually talks about Sandow in the next few pages here, um, there are some awesome shots of Bill Pearl uh, during his strongman uh, shows. And if you didn't know, Bill Poe actually also was a strongman. He used to tear license plates and, and all sorts of things. Blow up, blow up our hot uh, water balloons like Franco Colombo used to do. And that, there's photos of that. Uh, there is. His, there is uh, tearing the license plate. There's, there's photos of him doing all sorts of crazy things. Uh, but yeah, there's some great shots of him dressed up as a strongman in this section where he pays tribute to Eugene Sandow. And I mean... The main, uh, I would say, topic of this book is actually the uh, body parts. He splits all the body parts up into abs, chest, shoulders, back, triceps, and then biceps, the quads, calves, the neck, which is not covered in many books, and the forearms. That, I would say, is the, you know, the best part of this book. Each uh, section, each body part, uh, starts off with the basic anatomy of the area that will be talked about, the uh, equipment that will be needed to perform the exercise listed, and then he gives you, if not tens, hundreds of examples of different variations of exercises uh, with illustrations and a paragraph for each explaining them. And I mean, I have never ever seen a book with so much detail on and, and variation on, on, on exercises per body part. It's, it's incredible. I dare anyone to try every single exercise listed in this book there must be hundreds if not thousands 
this section alone must cover about 500 pages of different exercises over the body parts that were listed. Uh, really, it, it's I, I have never seen a book that is so in depth. And in that respect, I truly believe what it says at the very beginning. The most complete and comprehensive volume ever published on weight training. Absolutely. I, I, I've never seen anything like this. It is fantastic. I mean, yeah. you can't possibly get bored uh, buying this book with your training program because this kind of book really does allow you to create your own program to identify your weaknesses and to work on things that you would like to work on whether they are your strengths or your weaknesses let's say you notice that you your side deltoids uh, need a bit of work well I mean everybody does side laterals this book probably has 20, 30, 40, 50 different possibilities of how to build your laterals up. So, I mean, it's amazing. At the very end of the book, just to end the review now, there is a section, I think the bicep section is over 100 pages alone. Uh, so, the uh, end of the book, God, I'm up to page 570 and I'm still not finished with the body part section. So, yeah, at the very end of the book, yeah, so it is about 500 pages of, um, of exercises. There is a section on posing. And these are some really iconic shots. And, and, and it's another great thing about this book. There's so many iconic shots, awesome shots of, of Bill Pearl. Um, and there's also a section on his contests career. All the way from the 50s up to the 60s and 70s. And yeah, at the end there's some uh, nostalgic photos from the golden era. And more nutritional facts. Um, this book is a gold mine. It really is. I've read it and I want to read it again and again. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. In regards to in-depth and comprehensive information on exercises I think it's bar none double thumbs up triple thumbs up quadruple thumbs up to Bill Pearl for an amazing book um, yeah that's my review of keys to the inner universe it's available I think on on Amazon and on eBay actually Bill Pearl has just re-released from memory on his website uh, new uh, a new um, edition I believe uh, on Keys to the Univer Inner Universe so it's available on his website go get it um, this is uh, the end of the review if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel check out all my other videos on other books that I've reviewed they're starting that the word is spreading about the golden era bookworm I'm starting to be featured on other websites so uh, have a look out and yeah I hope you've enjoyed it. Please share it if you liked it. And yeah, um, I'll see you soon again with another video. Bye for now.